Hi, I am Dr. Chandrika Kulkarni. I am a fertility specialist at Cloud9, Jainagar, Bengaluru. Single embryo transfer for all practical purposes is done with the intention of having a single pregnancy. Why do we want a single pregnancy in the first place, not unlike twins or triplet pregnancies? If it is a singleton pregnancy, the complications associated with pregnancy are much lesser. Because in a twin pregnancy or a triplet pregnancy, what happens is there is increased incidence of preterm delivery, increased incidence of ICU admission to the babies. Then there can be long-term morbidity to the babies in the form of problems with the lungs, problems with the neuronal developments. So in order to avoid all these things, single elective embryo transfer is the best advocated procedure. However, one has to realize that even if single embryo transfer is done, there is a possibility, but not always, of a twin pregnancy. Why does this happen? When a single blastocyst, blastocyst I mean day 5 embryo. So when this is transferred, this blastocyst has a tendency of forming, not always though, very rarely forming monozygotic twins what are called. That is the single blastocyst can divide into two and lead to twin pregnancies. However, this is a very rare condition unlike when two blastocysts transferred. When two blastocysts transferred, the chances of having twin pregnancy becomes higher. Twins and triplets also are found. Whereas when single blastocyst is transferred, the chances of singleton pregnancy is much higher than twins. But there is a possibility that there can be twin pregnancies. That is monozygotic twins.